Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial for beginners. In this video, I will show you how to model this part with FreeCAD 1.0. Let's get started. I will pick Parametric Part Template to create this model. Make sure you are in Part Design Workbench. Let's design this part in two sections. First, we will design this section. 3D modeling process always start with a sketch. Then you will add features like extrude or revolve, etc. Let's create the profile sketch and then we will add revolve feature. Click on create sketch command and pick XY plane. Click on create rectangle command and click on the origin. Type 15 for width, press enter, and type 60 for height, and press enter. Right-click to exit the command. Right-click and pick Fit All to see the full view of the sketch. Click on this line and right-click and pick Toggle Construction Geometry to change the line to Construction Line. The line becomes Dash Line. This means this line is temporary line and used as guide to define the shape. It will not appear on the final model. Click on rectangle command again, click on Y axis and type 12 for the width, press enter and type 4 for the height and press enter. Right click to exit the command. Pick this line and change to construction line. Click on Create Line command and draw a line from this point to this point. Draw another line from this line to this line. Right click to exit. Change this line to Construction Line. Click on Create Arc Tool. and click somewhere around here for center point and click on this point and this point. As you can see, these points are not connected. I am going to apply constrain to connect them. Click on coincident constrain command and click on these two points to connect them. Click on tangent constrain command and click on the arc and the line. Right click to exit the command. Click on dimension command. Click on this line and this line. Type 15 and press enter. Make sure the sketch is fully constrained. When a sketch is fully constrained, all its geometry is locked by dimensions and relations, making it predictable and reliable ensuring design stability and preventing unexpected changes during editing. Click on Create Line command and draw a line between these two points. Close the window. Click on Revolve command. Leave the default settings and click OK. Let's add roundness with fillet feature. Click on fillet command and pick these edges. Type six and press okay. Click on this face and click on fillet command again. Let's make this point five and press enter. Check the model.
Looks good. Now we will add these grooves. Click on this face and click on Create Sketch Command. Click on this command to copy external reference edge from existing solid. Click on this edge. We will use this copied edge to locate the new sketch. Click on Create Circle Command. Make sure the cursor looks like this. And click to create the circle. Type 5 and press Enter. Right click to exit. The sketch is not fully constrained. We will add coincident constraint. Click on center of the circle and the vertical axis. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. Click on pocket tool. And type 50 for the length. Click on OK. Click on Model tab and select Pocket. Click on Polar Pattern Command. Make sure this is Polar Angle and type 10 for Occurrences. Click OK. Check the model. Now, we will model this section. Click on Create Sketch and pick XY Plane. Sometimes, it's easier to switch to wireframe display style so you can see all the edges, especially if the model has lots of details. We need to copy the top edge for reference. Click on this command again to copy reference line from the existing solid. Click on the top edge. Click on Create Rectangle command and start the rectangle at this corner. Type 2 mil for the width, press Enter, and type 60 mil for the height, press Enter. Zoom in here and click on this line and convert to construction line. Click on create polyline command and draw it like this. Make sure the cursor looks like this and automatic vertical and horizontal constraints are applied. Right click to exit. Add these dimensions. Make sure the sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. Click on Revolve Command. If you don't see the full model, zoom out or right-click and select Fit All option. Click OK. Change to wireframe display style from this drop down. Click on create sketch command. And pick YZ plane. Click on this command again and pick these edges.
Click on Create Polyline Command and draw a shape like this. Make sure automatic constraints are applied. Right click to exit the command. As you can see, I did not click on the point, so it is not connected. I will apply coincident constraint to connect them. Add these dimensions. Let me explain what I am doing here. I am creating a profile shape to cut this side of the solid. Then I will mirror it to the other side. Close the window. Let's switch back to shaded display style. Click on pocket tool. And change to through all type. And check the symmetric to plane option. Click OK. Click on Pocket and click on Mirrored Command. Change to Horizontal Sketch Axis. Click OK. Check the model. Click on Fillet Command to add curve to these edges. Make it 10 mil. The model is now complete. Please comment below if you have any questions. Also, please don't forget to subscribe so you will get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you and see you soon.